Hey guys, how you doing today? It's Steve on the Guru Brew. Today we're going to talk about HTTP2. It's the new protocol that controls traffic for the web that's going to be coming out real soon. And you'll benefit by greater speeds, hopefully, and smoother page loads. There's a load of benefits. Now, you use HTTP if you are watching this video right now on YouTube. If you look up in the address bar, for YouTube you'll see at the beginning HTTP and just about every website has this and it's a protocol that was developed to monitor and control the traffic that goes between your computer and the server well this has been around and hasn't changed since 1999 and so it's about 16 years old and if you remember the internet back in 99, it wasn't nothing like it is now. You didn't normally watch videos and it was limited to low res pictures and text mostly. And with the popularity of internet, it's a need it's in need of a upgrade, a major facelift. Anyway, some smart folks have been working on the problem now for a while. And they're just about ready to release it and it will be called http2 and it's a effort by many companies to develop this and it's going to be happening pretty quick so i thought today we would talk about it a little bit how it works what it's going to do for you as far as speed and convenience as well as when we can expect it out i'll try to spare you all the boring details if you want to hear more details about it, leave it in the notes and maybe I'll put it on my second channel. Anyway, let's go ahead with HTTP2, a brief beginner's description and just information. Let's get started with that. So when the HTTP2 comes out, it'll probably be very uneventful. You might hear about it in the news a couple days before and then after, and you'll get an update from your web browser one day, and then hopefully things will just start working faster and better than ever. So it'll be quite uneventful when it comes out, unless you're a geek that really follows this stuff. Now, <clears throat> there's quite a few people that have contributed to this project the people that are running the project um, are called the Internet Engineering Task Force and they call themselves IETF for short and they're responsible for getting the, the new implementation out. Some of the contributing companies that are participating and helping to write the code and give ideas are like the web browser like Firefox and Chrome they're big contributors and then Twitter and Microsoft Cortana is going to start using it and then um, interpreters for web browsers such as like curl and Python and Ruby are also major players so it's a bunch of very smart people that are coming together to hopefully make this a really good uh, experience we haven't had an upgrade in 16 years so you know it's got to be a lot better than what we have now I'm going to give you a demonstration here in a few minutes and show you what it looks like the HTTP now versus what it should look like when it's when it's running so that's who's doing it and, and uh, we can expect that soon I want to give you just a few of the highlights of the things that they've changed since the older version and give you an idea how that works so let's get talking about that next to give you a good example of where our current system is faulted if you've brought up web pages and it seems like it starts to load and then it stalls and it waits and then it finishes loading eventually it seems like it's waiting on items well it is the current system is basically one way it, your web server asks for a request and it has to wait for that request to come back before it can send out the next request so if there's an ad or something like that on the page, it might have to wait for that 
to get the data back before it can send more data. Whereas the new HTTP2 has two-way multiplexing traffic, which means it can go both ways at the same time and it can have multiple tracks of traffic going back and forth and that'll greatly speed things up. Now the basis of HTTP2 was generally primarily developed by Google and they've been playing with code trying to optimize it for a long time as a internal company project and they named it Speedy, S-P-D-Y and that was adopted as the basis for the new HTTP2 so that's how it started. Since then, companies have been contributing and fixing problems with Speedy and also adding new implementations to make it even better. And let's talk about some of those new things now. So one of the other things besides multiplexing and unlimited traffic both ways, also headers that uh, are now in plain text for human consumption are going to be sent in binary. You know, it takes a computer longer to figure out what it means in human terms than it does to speak its native language, which is binary. And so that's time consumed translating the page into something readable, meaning the code by a human. So that element's taken out. So with the binary traffic um, versus something that has to be translated each time it's received and sent. Um, that'll speed things up greatly with the binary. Also, in addition, the current system HTTP is redundant in a lot of areas with sending header headers and without getting into the specifics of it, this has been compressed down. In fact, new algorithms have been made just for the new HTTP 2 to shrink header usage down and other data to make it even faster. In addition, one more thing is called push response. And what it is is the server is anticipating or guessing what the next request will be. Right now, the way it works, unless there's hacks done, is a request is made and the data is brought back and it doesn't spend any of the time wisely while you're you know, consuming that page to load up other items that might be needed. So that's downtime with push and depending on your pattern of um, using the web, it will try to guess what you might need next and it might guess that you need an image or a header or a certain body of text or even an ad. So with the push it tries to guess what you need. So in a nutshell there are other things that are added to HTTP2 and I'll put a link in the description if you want to get more technical. If you um, read there's a lot of information there to consume so I'm just trying to uh, compress this down for you. So the bottom line is this, faster responses, it's going to be more reliable and hopefully more secure, especially since binary is now replacing a lot of the header usage. You're going to have to use special tools just to use the code, unlike right now where you could uh, you know, see things in plain text. So let's see what happens. Now, when is the code going to come out? When do we expect to see changes? I'm guessing um, by next year, which would be 2016. It might come earlier, the last quarter, but I'm, I'm guessing that it will be the first quarter of next year. Now, the code has been approved and gone through all the um, changes that it's going to go through. So it is physically ready and it stands now at like a copy editor um, desk waiting for the final, final, final. So I'm guessing that uh, we're going to see up to 88% reduction in time spent waiting for web pages. That's the estimate. Um, they've seen that as high as 88%, but as low as 45%. But still, you know, 50% faster, especially for mobile devices. You know, the cell phones now 
and tablets are pretty powerful, but they're still not as powerful as our home computers generally are. So this is really going to affect mobile devices quite significantly. So let me know your comments about what you think about HTTP2 and if you think it's going to help things out, speed it up, and make a better internet. So we'll see you. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. We'll see you next time. This is Steve. Bye for now.